We are in the battle of the ages right now. Right now, we are in a bloody spiritual warfare that spans the globe. History is being made and the world is hurtling down the highway of history, careening down the road, screaming down the road of history, right into the book of Revelation. And while the masses of humanity have been distracted and literally duped by pandemics and wars and lockdowns and mandates and masks, the prophecies of Daniel and Ezekiel and First and Second Thessalonians and Revelation are being fulfilled or are on the verge of being fulfilled literally at this moment. We're literally standing on the precipice of a one world government led by a one world leader who is described most graphically in Revelation 13. So welcome to life as we know it on planet Earth. So what are we to do? What are we to do? <laughs> well, I want to take you to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, where we are given our marching orders for how we are to face life in 2022 and beyond. And Paul says this, first of all then, he says, first of all then, I urge that entreaties and prayer and petitions and thanksgiving be made for all men. What is he saying? He's saying this, in the face of this onslaught, in the face of persecution, in the face of upcoming persecution that we will experience here in the United States and that many are experiencing around the world, we are to pray. We are to pray, brothers and sisters. So I want to break this verse down. First Timothy 2 verse 1. Stick with me. If you're starting to tune out because I'm talking about prayer again, God have mercy on you because prayer is... As Paul says, he says, first of all, then, I urge you, first of all, prayer is our priority. There are two thoughts I want to bear out before I get into the meat of this. Number one, prayer is priority one. Priority one. This word, first of all, is the word protos. It literally means first in rank, first in influence, first in time, first in importance, the place of highest honor. And I want to ask you this. In the face of all that is going on, has prayer moved its way up your priority list to number one on the list? Is prayer number one? The typical Christian life is extraordinarily anemic. Maybe we throw out prayers for blessing for our work, blessing for our kids, blessing for our families. Maybe we pray over a meal. And if, in, if we're in public, eating in a public place, God forbid that we pray because somebody might be offended. Or we might look foolish. Friends, hear me. Prayer is priority one. It is a weapon that God has given us to fight with in the face of what we are dealing with in this world. Jesus said this, as he cleared out the temple, he took a whip and he drove out the money changers and cleaned out the temple of all the perversion and the, the clutter. And he said this, my house, my father's house shall be a house of prayer for all the nations, for every people. And friends, listen, now our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the house of God. We are the temple that God lives in. And God is saying to us, my house is to be a house of prayer. And friends, many of us need the discipline of God in our lives to take a whip and to drive out the money changers, drive out the distractions, drive all those things that have taken priority over fiery daily prayer in our lives because it is not priority for most of us. Second Chronicles 7.14, God is speaking to a rebellious nation that is about to go into captivity, very much like our own nation that is about to fall because of its rebellion. He says this, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Listen, the order is vital. God is saying this, if my people will humble, my, humble themselves, and then the very next action is prayer. I want to say this to you. Prayer is the ultimate act of humility. It is, it is declaring to God, I need you. I can't live without you. I depend on you. You are my very life and my very breath. Prayer is an act of humility. 
by contrast, prayerlessness is an act of pride. If prayer is not a high, if not the highest priority in your life, you are living in pride before Almighty God. You are essentially saying, God, I don't need you. Prayer is a declaration of our need of God, our dependence upon Him. And if you have a life that you can control and that you don't need God and you don't feel compelled to your knees to pray and cry out to God, then your life is, you're living life way too small. You're living your life way underneath what God has called you to because he's never called us to anything that we can control and get done in our own strength. He's called us to a mission that is far greater than us, that depends on his power and requires us to cry out to him in prayer. So friends, Paul says, first of all, prayer is priority one.